So this is going to be a, a Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, December 30th to January 5th, uh, 2019. And um, if you do guys want to get in touch with me or to schedule a, a personal reading, you can check the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find uh, a link to my website where you can do both. So that being said, uh, moving into the spread straight away now, the first card, which represents the topic of your uh, relationship and love life, uh, that is going to be uh, the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the next one here, which is the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic, that is going to be the Two of Swords, followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you will have to tackle throughout this week in regards in term of love and relationship, that is to be the Two of Pentacles. The fourth card here is showing the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week, that is to be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the fifth one, which stands as uh, how other people see you, okay? How your friends and family are seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you, and most importantly, how this one is seeing you. We do have the uh, Six of Pentacles, followed by the uh, sixth card, which is standing as what you can do in order to uh, help your long-term love and relationship goal or what is going to help that goal. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. The seventh card it is what is going to hurt that goal in the long term. We do have the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And the final one here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you for that week in term of love and relationships. We do have the Strength card. All right. Um, well, we definitely, uh, the topic itself, it's an individual, it's a person that is to, to, to be the queen of pentacles. And it's uh, fed up by the energies of the two of swords. So we do have a, a person, an individual who takes a, a standstill kind of a position. And that is kind of understandable because, well, I will tell it that way. Well, this is a, a person who tries to find the reason to go on with. Okay, it's uh, it, that that person knows that there is still more into it, more into the situation in between you two. It is just they don't know how to find it yet, or they don't know where to find it yet. Okay, so we have an, an individual who is trying to find a potential that in between you two that is here to for an explode. Why I'm saying that it is because if you kind of feel that uh, your relationship is stuck or your interactions with your person of interest are stuck, uh, that is because of them, not because of you. And it is because they are lingering on a certain equilibrium, I would say, where that person does not want to make the wrong move and yet they want to have a certain progress. Therefore, they are a bit reluctant to do whatever into either existing relationship or into either existing interactions. And one thing I would like to say here about the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, it's very uh, self-absorbed in a sense of that uh, it's, it's kind of like she does not see much further than her nose and she does not see much further than her domain, I would say it that way. And everything that she tries to do it is to secure her domain and to find potential into the already established domain. That is kind of like positive at a certain point. It is because for now, at least, it looks that this individual kind of has its glance or its look entirely upon you and no one else. But that is for the time being. And the best... Um, approach at that particular point here um, it's to allow that queen or this person to find out the reason to move on if you can help them that's great but if you can't it is best not to try to screw it around so if you don't know what you're doing with them don't do anything the, the last thing you want here is drama and uh, points of conflict okay in between you and that person now, the next card, it is uh, what is going to be the challenge. And we do have the Two of Pentacles. So as we said, 
If you can't do something to help it, then don't do anything. And that is going to be the challenge. So the challenge itself, it is for you to find a peripheral activities to make your time or to, yeah, to make your time occupied. Additionally to that, um, how can I say it? Um, with the two of pentacles, it's more like being uh, adaptable and being willing to let go of outdated concepts and outdated standards. What I am trying to say here, Leo, it is that it's going to be challenging for you to show to this queen of pentacles, this individual, this person, which may not be a woman, all right? It could be as well a man. It's just it comes around with as a archetype of the queen of pentacles um, that you still have a room to... Um, to differ, I don't know how to say it, okay? You still have what to show, let's say, you still have what to arrange, you still have a what to align and how to align. It's like leaving aside a one concept for another, so to show that you are adaptable. And you can definitely adapt to her domain because this is what she is. I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be he or to adapt to the domain that this person is trying to fit you in. So the other card, it is the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles, it's very potent, especially for those sim singles. It does point that uh, this is going to be a big individual, right? So if that is just an interaction, then it's th this gift and blessing, it kind of puts you, um, it kind of puts additional worth into this interaction and it, it uh, kind of like gives you the idea that it definitely worth trying it it definitely worth putting effort to make it work uh, but this uh, this card as a gift and blessing in a wider um scale it does point leo that you are to have a, a quite so very good love and relationship conquest throughout the week to enjoy it and um that will happen for those who are in relationship and that is their partner queen of pentacles that is going to happen as soon as this partner understands how big value that relationship has i mean it, it is in the gifts and the blessings so my final verdict here just from those four cards for you especially that are feeling stuck in their relationship it is that that relationship is going to stir once again and the emotion that the stir is going to happen with is it will be a, a bit more rapid and fast than you have anticipated so hopefully you will be able to catch up with it uh, uh one other gift and blessing here it is the gift of um playfulness okay uh the nine of pentacles it is like you know you kind of have everything at your disposal right and you get to mix it up around so it's um it's a quite good times in terms of uh, what the universe is giving to you i mean it's giving you the means that the means necessary to uh, be happy in one interaction or in one relationship. Now, how other people see you, how your person of interest sees you, how your partner sees you, how your friends and family sees you, that is to be the Six of Pentacles. And it's kind of like a neutral standpoint with this card. I mean, they are seeing you as a, um, I would say someone who knows their place. And even though, um, it's kind of like a person who does not abuse. This is how they see you. They are seeing you as a humble individual that it is uh, that is going to accept the position that is to be given to them either uh, in regards to career or either in regards to relationship. What I mean it is that these people are seeing you as a uh, someone who honors the hierarchy and knows very well what. Uh, or how that thing is going to play out. I mean, future interactions or future relationship, and it's not going to cross a certain boundaries. So uh, finally, I would say that these people were seeing you quite reliable. I mean, your partner is seeing you quite reliable. Your person of interest is seeing you quite reliable and trustworthy as well. So the other card here, it is what you can do in order to help your long-term goal in, in uh, term of love and relationships. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune. 
So Wheel of Fortune, uh, it kind of points to quite big of a dynamic. So every time you get an opportunity to do something new or to kind of like stir the situation between you and your interest or you and your partner, you should grasp on that, uh, on that opportunity. Additionally to that, because I know what the next card is here, I will have to interpret these both cards, okay? So, this is what those two cards are saying. Now, instead of hoping that things are going to happen on their own accord and you are going to have the opportunity gifted to you, you have to create it for yourself. This is what those two cards are expressing. And it's kind of like it urges you to take the risk as well. So risk and Creating an opportunity, it is what you need to do against what you should not do here. It is waiting that rare opportunity to come on its own accord. Uh, additional thing that those two cards are pointing is that you need to test the soil. Or in other words, to try to find out how much your person of interest or your partner cares about you and cares about the interaction that you both have. And that is by, I don't know, I mean, every person is different, but... Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind how you can do that it is to make them miss you one way or another just to see how um, tenacious they are to persuade uh, to pursue you but i don't know i mean it's um it will be different for uh, every single one of you but definitely you need to cling toward a dynamic throughout the week as soon as that person Queen of Pentacles finds a, a value to move on with your mutual interaction or a relationship. And the final card here, it is about the guidance that Tara is offering to you. So we do have a, the Strength card. Now, Strength card in term of love and relationship, it is a, about passion. It is a, about showing, you know, how enthusiastic you are to keep on with all that, showing a, as well an un, undenying and unyielding um, standing of regardless what the rest thinks, all that matters is what you think. So the whole point here it is to, instead of saying, I love you, you got to do something to show it. You have to um, allow your actions to speak to speak louder than words. So as a guidance, um, instead of constantly trying to explain what you want to do and how you want to do it, and most importantly, why you want to do it, for example, instead of explaining why you want to be with someone, just do something to show it, right? That is how the things are to happen faster than anticipated and uh, when you do that thing to show that person that you want to be with him you also need to incorporate a severe amount of passion in it and determination as well it is like this is the only thing you want at that particular stage and that will help them to find the value they need in order to make the things move on um, or to keep on moving with uh, the mutual interaction and relationship so that being said, Leo, this was your uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want to get in touch with me for your personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below where you're going to find my website, uh, a link to my website, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.